Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. Today we've got a quick video on how to add an outline to an image inside of Canva. This is really simple. Let's dive in and get started straight away. So we're here, we're in Canva. We've got a square image. It doesn't matter what it is. We're just showing you how to add an outline today. So we're gonna add the image that we want to add an outline to. And first of all, we're going to need to cut out this image. We're gonna come up to the photo editing options. And on the photo editing options, you choose the photo background remover. Now, whilst it's doing its magic, the background remover option is a Canva Pro feature. Right now, until the end of April 2024, there is a 45 day trial of Canva Pro down in the description below. But let's get back into it. Okay, here we've now got our image. It's been cut out and we just come down to the shadows option. On the shadows option, you can see compared to the old photo editing options and the old outline or shadows options, there are fewer options on here. And I'm hoping that they do add some options in in the future. But there is technically only one really that you need on this, and that is the outline option. Um, you can still, you can see as I click over these, all it's doing is it's changing the blur amount and the angle of these. So doesn't really matter which one you choose but for us we want an outline so we're going to click the outline we can change the color of this outline and we can change the size of the outline you can go really crazy if you want i tend to find 14 or 15 on here kind of looks okay you can add a little blur to that it kind of like helps it pop out a little bit and the problem is is now you can't actually layer and stack these images however i've got a little trick for that for you and i'll show you that in a second but that is our image now outlined you can just click away and if you do feel like you want to actually edit this outline you can come back up to the photo editing option come to shadows and you can then still say you wanted to add a little bit more of an outline or reduce the outline to even smaller you can do that the actual outline stays editable in the new feature here so what if you want to add a little drop shadow to that image as well? Well, there's only one way that you can do that now, and I'm going to duplicate this image, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna come over to edit photo and click on the drop shadow options, and we're gonna click the glow option instead. Now let's say we want this to be a different color. We're just gonna make this stand out a little bit. Gonna make that more of a yellow look just so that you can see the difference. Now, when you come to this, you need to make sure that you are sizing this up to around about the same sort of size as your original image. And you'll notice as you add a border to it, it does actually add a glow outline to it. Now, what we need to do is then move that to the back so you can either use your keyboard shortcuts or you can come up to position and then drop that down to behind. And you can see now when we zoom in here, We've got a white outline, but then we've got like a little yellow glow and you can change that. So let's say you've got a light background and you wanted to actually come up and change that glow to more of a darker color. You could do, you can come down and add that onto there. So it helps stand your image stand out a little bit more. So you've still got that white cut out, but also adding a little bit of a glow or blur to the background to make you stand out and pop from the design of whatever <coughs> pop from the design of whatever it is that you're going to do. And that's it. Just a quick video today. If you do like this video, don't forget to click like, click subscribe. I'm all tongue-tied, so I'm gonna go and get some lunch. Okay, bye for now.